Well, hi, and thanks so much for joining me in my shop. Hey, I'm going to try to do a little better test on this device. Uh, I did kind of a rough test on it uh, yesterday. And in thinking about it, I think I can do a lot better test to find out if this thing works. So I bought this at a yard sale. Came in a box with a bunch of other stuff. And it uh, looks pretty hopeful to me. It has a switch here, normal and boost. Normal is basically off and I think the antenna lead here is just attached to these two these two antenna pieces. When you put it on boost it kicks in a little amplifier. And what I want to do is find out if this is really doing something with a little more certainty than yesterday and with the help of my cat of course which is he's busily what happened <laughs> A little piece of tape stuck on his tail there for a moment. <laughs> Don't bite tape. Tape, not good for eating there, cat. You're going to get a surprise. Uh, he's a lot more entertaining than me, that's for sure. So what I've tried to do is hook this up as an antenna on my SDR. Here's the SDR here. And I put it through this really cockeyed switch arrangement here. It's complicated as it looks. All it's doing is selecting between an outdoor antenna and an indoor antenna. And also I need to have the antenna fed into this UV input uh, antenna connection. And that's going to be like that. So now there's a direct connection from the higher frequency side. This is a uh, this particular uh, RTL, uh, sorry, SDR radio has uh, a converter built into it and it will do HF and then it will do the usual UHF and above. It just have two different antenna inputs on it. That's why there's two, two inputs. So just following the UV one, and we'll go through here, through here. So it's currently connected to this antenna, which is set in the normal setting. Now I'm going to try to bring this up on the screen here so we can take a look at it. So here's the uh, SDR. Uh, it's tuned in the FM range. In fact, it's tuned to an FM station. We can listen to this, by the way. So you're just hearing that come through uh, speakers, uh, come through a microphone. Let's see if this has any effect on anything. It's off right now. Okay, so that got rid of the signal. Brings it back. That gets rid of the signal. That brings it back. Let me unplug this. Whoops, you can't see what I'm up to here. So I'm going to un unplug the antenna. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, so the little signal disappeared, but it's awfully weak. So I will turn on the boost now. Boost is on. Well, it did do something there, didn't it? Let me tune this in just a wee bit better. Pretty crummy though, isn't it? I'll extend the uh, antenna arms on the antenna here. FM, I, I would imagine. Oh, that's not very good. Let's switch back. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. You can see the effect. all my switches here to make sure they're that's really really weak okay, so that's now the SDR is now connected to an outdoor wire it's next to nothing being received better than an outdoor wire. 
boost off. Maybe it'll take a little bit of time for this to actually die out. Not impressive. Boost on. Well, I'm going to give that a zero. That's a zero. Let me try this straight into this radio. Wait a minute. Yeah, HF, UV. Uh oh, what I do? something. I think I might have interrupted the USB briefly. Did I say USB? Yes. Of course, if you interrupt the USB, you interrupt the power to the radio. So this would be, this is a much better arrangement here, actually. Far better. Okay, so now we got this connected right into this. And let's see if I can make my uh, SDR run again. Good. Nothing at all. Didn't I say this is a better arrangement? Oh, oh, okay. World Report is next, and then it's the Sunday edition with Michael. So the white was murdered by the KKK in 19. I'll talk to his daughter about her mother's life and violent death and about the Ah, huh, look at that. Later. This is World Report. That's pretty good. Good morning from CBC News. I'm Marcia Stegnani. We begin in Florida. Hurricane Irma is lashing the state right now. The storm is passing over the Florida Keys. Hurricane sirens sounding with the wind blowing at more than 200 kilometers an hour. Many streets across the state are wind tunnels with palm trees bending over. In the water, some boats are partly submerged. Others are being tossed like toys. Just looking out my window, and it's the strongest storm okay. I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm just super terrified. The storm's already being blamed for one death in the Florida Keys. Storm surges are the greatest risk. Many tens of thousands of people on the West Coast are now in shelters. Irma's path has shifted, though, from earlier predictions. I think we're going to be staying here for two nights, maybe three. They, they really don't know where the storm's going to go and exactly, so we have no way of knowing. Irma grew stronger overnight in the warm ocean water south of Florida. It is a massive category four. This morning, directly in the path of the storm. Tom, okay. where are you Let's seeing? Turn off the. This area is not. It's just outside. The rain started. Very effective. Uh, the winds haven't picked up too bad yet. Uh, that's still expected to change as the day goes on. Now, Tampa. Okay, so this is a. a uh, hit from a hurricane in nearly a hundred years. Fairly strong FM station. Let's see if we can find a weaker one. There. I'm out in the suburbs right now, so I'm outside the evacuation. That's good. As long as there's no music. Yeah, let's go hunting for more. Yeah, these uh, bumps along here. That's maybe something coming out of this. Uh -huh. 
Notice the uh, general general drop in the signal strength. Well, I can still see those four those four bands. It's very hard to see, but they are they are visible in here. Now if I turn it on, it's just much more visible. Not so visible in the camera. Actually, you know what? I can I can do this right there. <laughs> okay, so those might not be from the antenna itself. Oh, what got so quiet? Something right in there is quiet at the set. Quiet at the radio right down. 102 point something. Oh, there's still something there. Well, so far this thing's working pretty good. Let's go way up now to, let's say, 147. Radio band here. Looking for anything. I have to find the weather frequency for this area. Okay, so I've got the uh, SDR tuned to the uh, weather, the emergency or weather alert channel here. Got the antenna turned off, I'll turn it on. something there. Well, seems to be working. Seems to do the job. So I think I'll take the time to figure out how to set this up in my real listening area, listening post, shack, studio, office, whatever you want to call it. My shop here is about the least attractive place to try to listen to radio <laughs> for a number of reasons. So, but that's great. I think I think that pretty well proves it. Boost on FM and the boost on. Uh, on UHF, just as it suggests. Fantastic. Okay, so I want to try another another test on here um, before I complete, completely convince this is operating. So we're going to switch it on. 
Okay, so there you see the weather channel. I'm going to pop a battery out of this. And, uh, there we go. Well, that's pretty convincing, I think. Let me pop it back in. Ah. Excellent. Okay, that leaves me quite convinced this is operating. That's fantastic. Hey, thanks so much for watching all this stuff.